Uncle Howdy's in-ring debut showed he's no pretender. And the WWE begins a tournament to find a new intercontinental number one contender. And here we go. <laughs> Is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, glad you stopped by, and if you're brand new, welcome. Grab a seat and stay a while, but do me a couple favors first. Go down and hit that subscribe button, go next door, ring that bell, make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up. Hit that like button, and before you head out, drop a comment. And if you're one of the regulars here, welcome back for another round, I ask that you also hit that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment, because YouTube does love the comments. And of course, share the video out on all social media. All right, before we get into the stuff on Monday Night Raw, the show started off and also had a segment during the show um, giving their respects and condolences to the family of former WWF superstar Sid Justice, also called Psycho Sid, um, who had died earlier this week on Monday. So thoughts and prayers go out to his family. And now... Monday Night Raw from Providence, Rhode Island. This is the go-home show heading into Bash in Berlin. The show was actually pretty darn darn good. And as uh, I stated earlier, the WWE started a tournament to name a new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship and had a long-awaited in-ring debut. So let's take a look at some of the highs and the lows of Monday Night. Here we go, here we go! Now the show kicked off with the Judgment Day, of course. Coming out to the ring, they were cutting promos, talking about how the week before they put a beat down on Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. Out to interrupt was not Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley, but the LWO. Yeah, haven't seen them in a while. We had Rey Mysterio, Joaquin Wilde, Cruz del Toro, and a returning... Dragon Lee. Hey, missed you guys. They had a face-to-face -face in the ring, which then led to a four-on-four -four tag team match. This was a lot of fun to watch, as at one point, all four LWO members did simultaneous suicide dives on all four corners of the ring. They had this great aerial shot. Awesome. Looked really, really cool. Now, the match ended when Liv Morgan distracted Rey Mysterio, and for the second time in a row, Dirty Dom gets the pinfall victory over his deadbeat dad. Now, after the match, some shenanigans ensued, and out comes, you guessed it now, the Terror Twins. Now, Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio, and Liv Morgan, they retreated as J.D. McDonough and Carlito were left in the ring to eat a Riptide and a South of Heaven cho choke slam. This left the babyfaces standing tall, this was a very good segment. What wasn't a good segment is the second match we had on the show tonight, which was EO Sky and Kyrie Sane of Damage Control versus Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler of the Pure Fusion Collective. <gasps> Boring! Yeah, this was barely three minutes, time that could have been better used elsewhere. Now, what was not boring, however, Drew McIntyre came out to the ring to talk about his upcoming match at Bash in Berlin against CM Punk. They're having a strap match. Now, even went to the point of mocking CM Punk, sitting down in the ring and using his phrase, do I have your attention now? Well, apparently he got someone's attention because from under the ring, out comes CM Punk 
with a strap and starts just beating the crap out of Drew McIntyre. This forced him to retreat into the crowd. This was a great segment because going into this match, the time for talking is done. It's simply time for violence. It's so badass. And then next up on the docket was the first of two triple threat matches in the Intercontinental Number One Contender Tournament. Uh, the first match had Karrion Cross versus Kofi Kingston versus main event Jay Uso. The match was, it was okay. Uh, Jay hit Karrion Cross with a spear, followed by a top rope splash to pick up the win and advance further into the tournament. Now, this sent all the Jay Uso stands on the internet going crazy, claiming that he's not only going to win the tournament, but he's going to defeat Braun Breaker and become the Intercontinental Champion. Uh-huh. Sure. Spoiler alert. No, he's not. Now, in a match of monsters, we had Braun Strowman versus the best booked superstar for the last month on Monday Night Raw, Big Bronson Reed. Now, this match actually officially never started because the two started brawling before they could even ring the bell. They made it out to the back, to the locker room. They made it out to the parking lot. Braun Strowman hit Bronson Reed with a shoulder tackle, and he flew across the hood of a car and did a real nasty bump, hit a spot where he hit the back of his head on the pavement on the other side of the, of the car. Ouch. And yet somehow they had, after that, they got up on some crates. They found themselves on the roof of the car. Bronson Reed hit Braun Strowman with a pipe, laying him out. And then Braun goes up, Bronson scales the wall behind the car and hits a tsunami splash onto the roof of the car and blowing out the side windows. It was absolutely nuts. And like I said, this match never started. Guarantee we're going to see some of these guys again because, in a word, Dude, that was awesome! Now, that brings us to our second triple threat qualifier of the night. A match with Xavier Woods versus Pete Dune versus The Miz. This was a much better match than the previous one. And picking up the win is Pete Dune and he will advance. And we are also informed that next week's pair of tri triple threat matches will involve Shaman versus Bronson Reed versus Ludwig Kaiser and Dirty Dom, Dirty Dominic Mysterio versus Dragon Lee versus Ilya Dragunov. The winners of these matches will go on to face Pete Dune and Jey Uso in a winner-take-all fatal four-way to then take on Ron Breaker for the Intercontinental Championship. That is exciting. <laughs> And now this brings us to the main event of the night. Chad Gable, leader of American Made, versus Uncle Howdy, leader of the Wyatt Six. Fun fact, Uncle Howdy, otherwise known as Bo da Dallas, last appeared in a WWE ring August 26th, 2019. Five years to the day. Now, during the match, Uncle Howdy had Chad set up for Sister a Abigail when Ivy Nile jumped up onto the ring apron, distracting the referee, allowing Chad to escape and apply an ankle lock. Uncle Howdy rolled through, throwing the referee, throwing Chad into the re referee, knocking the referee out for a little bit. So, you know, shenanigans are about to happen. And sure enough, out come, out come the Creed brothers as they attack uh, Uncle Howdy. And oh, yeah. You know what ha happened next. Out come the Wyatts. We had Dexter Loomis and Joe Gacy. They took care of Brutus Creed, while big Eric Rowan with Ivy Nile hanging on his back took care of Julius Creed by himself. Uh, Chad Gable attempted a moonsault. Uncle Howdy rolled out of the way. Chad landed on his feet, ran toward Howdy, but Howdy was re ready. Caught him, set him up, hits Sister Abigail, for the one, two, three. Now, my only real issue with this match 
the hair that was attached to the mask at times was a little stringy. He just kind of hit his face up a little bit. Other than that, the presentation, the in-ring performance, especially by Chad Gable as well. And, of course, the result. Perfection. But hey, these are just my thoughts. Now I'm going to turn it back over to you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to check me out tonight as we'll be talking about this and a whole lot of other stuff on Wednesday night is overbooked. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, folks. Again, quick reminder before you head out the door, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hey, thanks for sticking around this long. I appreciate that. I will see you guys all very soon. Hope you're having a great week. Have a wonderful rest of the week ahead of you. And always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always... Keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Toodles. I'd say you better subscribe or we'll bash in some skulls, right?